Bye, Gary. Can have one just lay down, maybe? Uh, we probably put it, if it's the only three, we put it like this angle. How you doing back there? Hello! <laughs> Woo, we are at the airport, folks. I haven't really given any context of what the heck is going on. We are headed to Mexico, to like Mon Monsalan, Mexico, or something like that. And uh, we're uh, we're gonna be going after some some ten pounders. Essentially, is is the plan. Actually, even bigger, twelve pounders. I, my goal on this entire trip, we're here for like ten days, is to break my PB. It's gonna be a lot of fun fishing for big fish. We got Winston, we got Sam. Perrick missed his flight, so he's gonna come in tomorrow, and John's gonna come in two days after that. We're meeting Rob in Lake Fork here. It's gonna be a fun event, guys. It's gonna be very fun. You guys, stay tuned. We have finally made it to Mexico. I have no idea what we're doing right now, but it wasn't actually that long of a flight, like two and a half hours. We gotta go, we basically have to go to the lake. I don't think we're gonna be doing any fishing today. It's a travel day, get prepped, and uh, I'm very excited because this is the, we're going to the land of the giants. This is one of the best bass fishing lakes in the entire planet. Like no, no BS, one of the best in the entire planet. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get everything, go smoothly, get to the, uh, the hotel, and then tomorrow morning, we're going fishing. Hey, it smells like fish. Lobster. Lobsters. Yes, sir. See a lot of tackle bags. Smells like it. What we are doing right now is we, this is actually, you guys can see we are in a city in Mexico right now, and this is where people that use and have been to Ron Speed's, like a guide service that we're going on now, they come down here and they don't want to carry everything back. They don't want to check back, so they literally leave it here in this storage unit in the middle of Mexico. I shouldn't say Mexico. We're in like Mazalan or some some city. I don't I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think we're in Mazalan. So they they literally leave their tackle in the middle of Mazalan, and uh, so we're picking that up right now. We're sitting here. We still have like two and a half, three hour drive to the actual lake that we're going to be fishing on. So I don't know how much I'm going to film. I mean. Driving's not all that entertaining, but we got Lake Fork. I don't think I've shown you much on the vlog hey. yet. So we got the man back. Well, we're gonna go catch some fish. Let me tell you a little something about life, player. Tell me, tell me. Give, give the give the folks at home some words of wisdom. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. Y'all need to stay tuned to this channel right here because Flair's about to break his PB. He's already calling it. I'm telling you, you guys think I'm kidding? It's gonna happen. It is going to happen. So you guys stay tuned. Oh yeah, that's real good. Muy bueno. Well, if you guys haven't noticed yet, look at this. We got the Freedom Flare t-shirt now in stock. I will drop the link down below. We also have this in hoodies, a couple different colors, and of course, the hat. The good old fashioned original hat. I will link those down below as well. If you guys want to cop the merch, you might as well. Two hours later. Whoa. Where are we at? Kosala? We are in Kosala. In this, oh. And this was built in 1545, the year 1545. I think it's the or oldest town in Mexico or something like that. It's pretty crazy. We were just, I didn't really show a whole lot, but we were driving through mountains for probably like the last hour or so. It was just super remote. Like I have no cell phone service right now. Absolutely super remote. And then all of a sudden, bam, there's this beautiful town, music, palm trees, lights. Like the whole thing is just absolutely incredible absolutely insane one of the oldest churches in mexico uh -huh. right there one eternity later well folks we finally made it finally how long did that take we our plane landed at 12 30 and it is 6 04 p.m so by the time we got through everything, it was supposed to be a two and a half, three hour drive. Ended up being like a, a long one, a six, six hour, I don't even know, five and a half hour. It took a long time, but the plan now is to go eat food, rig up tackle, and then get some sleep. So I'm not going to really vlog the rest of today because it's pretty self-explanatory. I want to get to the good stuff. So the next thing you're going to see is me catching my PB. You think that's, I think that's actually what's going to happen? I got this. How are you feeling? I feel like a champion. You think it's gonna happen? Of course, yes. I mean, something's gonna happen. 
What do you feel like? I like the cloud cover. All right, I'm gonna oh, test. I'm gonna test. Morning. I'm gonna test my Spanish, right? Como te llamas? Jesus. Jesus. Me llamo Andres. Andres. Si. Okay. Uh, grande pesca. I'm the pesca. Si. Okay. Uh, vamos. Big fish. Muy bien. Si. Bo big fish. Si. This is Jesus, and we're gonna catch big fish. Let's do it. We made it. That was a de that was a decent run. 15, 20 minutes. But I haven't really given a whole lot of context. It is day one of fishing. I spent all day basically traveling. I didn't want to show too much of it because I know you guys just want to get to the good stuff, which is catching fish. And I am with Winston and Jesus and we got John. So we are ready to rock and roll. I'm starting off with the top water 100%. I got a little, little popper on there that I'm going to start with. As we got some cloud covers, a little wind, I think it's going to be good. Then transition, maybe a spinnerbait bite. But like I said at the beginning, the goal is to break my PB of 8 pounds and 0.64 that's not ounces i don't know i can't do math let's do it here we go big old salt water top water hey sis did you put us on the good spot bien bien uh don't they no shit i'm not good at spanish oh oh there he is! There he is! Oh god! Oh god, he's in the tree! Dude, it's a giant! It's a freaking giant! I got him out! I got him out! I got him out! I got him out! Oh my god, it's huge! Oh my god, it's huge! Asus, get the net! Get the net, Asus! Oh shoot! Oh god, it's huge, dude! Asus, it's coming! It's coming! Yes! <laughs> Woo oh shoot! Oh my god! I did not say there was gonna be one in that tree! Oh! <laughs> That's a skinny fish, but that is a giant. I hit the branch and popped it over and it hit it like a top water. Scared a the absolute piss out of me. Oh my god. Uh, Jesus, you got the, the scale. Weigh it. Six on the dot. Six pounds, zero ounces. Six pounder, baby. Woohoohoo, baby. Right there. First fish, six pounds. Not my PB, but I will take it. My first cast with the jig. I had a great feeling that there was going to be fish offshore on that little brush. We're going to say goodbye to Big Bertha here. See you later, Bertha. <laughs> well, there goes my camera. I got it, dude. Well, that was sick. <laughs> what do you think about that, Jesus? It's okay. Was that bueno? It's bueno. It grande, grande pesca? Mas grande. Mas grande. Mas grande. <laughs> Oh man, that's just absolutely unreal. So to kind of explain what's going on right now, we got Jesus. Jesus is the man, and uh, and we're we're fishing these these this brush basically off these points. And Winston's caught two small fish. Jesus actually caught a fish, showing Winston how to catch a fish, which was kind of funny because he caught on his first cast. And then uh, <laughs> I hadn't had any bites. I had one one topwater blow up, but everything shallow has just been small. Like it just doesn't look like a big fish. And this was the first the first offshore piece of structure that we've really fished today. And I casted it and like the second it hit the water, a, uh, a fish blew up on it and I had to pull it over the log and I got way too excited on that one. Only a six pounder, we still have two and a half pounds to go to break the old PB, but it's still a very fun time. We're gonna keep throwing. We gotta find, uh, we gotta find some more fish. There it is, there it is, there's a the fish, top water. There we go, baby. Finally, a topwater fish. It took long enough. Not the size that I'm after. I mean, usually when you're water skiing fish, that means that they're not the biggest, but, come here, little guy. Oh, feisty. Look at the, yeah, look how different that fish is. Look at, look at this, yeah. Hey, Su Jesus is my boy over here. Gracias. All right, there you go. Look at that, it's like totally different color than what you usually see. It's got like a green hue on the top of it. It's kind of almost like a shad color. He's pretty feisty. See you, buddy. Woo! On the top water, baby. Not the size we're looking for. That's right, Jesus. Right here. That's what I'm talking about. We are uh, taking a little lunch break, and the last thing you saw was probably me catching a small fish. We're gonna we're gonna eat some lunch. I'm not doing a ton of vlogging today because I know you guys just want to see me catch fish, and we're somewhat struggling. But everybody here, uh, everybody caught some. It sounds like everybody here caught at least one big fish. So that's good that people are here catching fish. And this boy, Sam, my man Sam, right here, potentially, probably, broke his PB. How does it make you feel about your life? I absolutely broke my PB. I, it was probably luck. It was probably on, luck. It was you caught the, on a jig though, right? Yeah, I caught See, I caught my big one on a jig, so at least I was throwing the right bait. But anyways, I don't want to talk too much longer. We're going to get some food, do a little food vlog action. I know you guys like a little food vlog. And then we're going back out and fishing until dark. So 
my goal still to break my PB has not happened. A few moments later. Hey, Sus. I want to get some lunch. Bueno. You. What's up, hey, Zeus? Good to see you again. You excited? Belly full. Yeah. You ate? You ate food? See? Everybody needs a good full Chicken belly. Wing. Chicken? Vamanos. Pollo. You eat pollo? No? No. Carne? Frijoles. What? Frijoles. Anyone? It's huevo. Huevo? Eggs. Eggs. I know what that is. Eggs. Okay, you ate eggs. Okay. Egg, eggs are good. We are back. Ready to go catch fish. Winston. Winston's ready to catch an absolute giant. All right, you got Jesus. You're, make, you're making my... What, what's that, what does that do to the bait? It's not sexy. Mucho sexy? Si, sí, mas sexy. Sexy, yeah. Sí. Mucho bonito? Mas bonita. Mas bonita. See, sí. sí, that's the key. It's okay. There you go. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Máxima seguridad, máxima seguridad. Policía, policía. Ten four. Pop, make stay next to the loud out. There's one. Oh my god. Mmm. Gosh darn it. Looking at the bird, talking about pop machine cell, cell phone service. And he came back! He came back! He came back! He came back! Oh, that's a freaking toad! That's a freaking toad! Oh my god! Oh my god, he came back! Holy crap! Get him! Get him. Oh shoot! Get him! Oh my god, get him in the net! Yes! <laughs> he came back! How did it, how lucky did I just get? Okay. Thank you, gracias. Look at that. That's heavier. I think that's heavier. Yeah, six, 6.7, 6 so six and a half. Freaking donkey of a fish though. On the jig, I think the jig is the key right now. That's two big fish on the jig, love it. Woo, right there folks, my second big another day. Oh, this is, this is George. See you later, George. Well, folks, I haven't really given you guys many tips. I've been really focused on breaking my PB, but these are the two gems of the day for me. Mainly this jig. This jig has been absolutely phenomenal. Caught the two biggest fish of the day, and then this spinnerbait has been cleaning up shop with the little bit smaller fish, but not bad. Both of these guys, this is the Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick, and we have the Balance. This is 7.4 Heavy. This is 7.3 X Heavy. So we got two rods here. Uh, really need these guys for the super heavy-duty gear that we're using today. You guys have seen catching big fish, so these are the two two biggest ones that uh, I like in particular. And uh, we do have some of these flare frog and flip sticks left. Not a lot of them, we're working on getting some more. We're gonna make a few changes to them. We're gonna make it even better than it already is. So you guys stay tuned. If you guys wanna check them out, I will link them down below. Hey, pick up a chug bug and throw it in the brush. Oh, there's one. There's one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. A good one. Yep, net. Net. Hey, hey, Seuss, I need the net. Oh, God. How did that just happen? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you can't beat the top water, eh? As you guys can see, it's getting pretty dark out. I was reeling it in, by the way. That's the technique. That's the technique is you're just supposed to reel. You're not supposed to pop poppers. You're supposed to reel them. That is absolutely gorgeous fish. It's a pretty long one. It's not that heavy. Freaking gorgeous. And I caught a decent one on top water. That was that was a goal today. See you later, Sheila. Boom. Back in the water, Sheila goes. I'm showing you again what I'm just throwing. A little uh, saltwater popper. Chug bug action. See, it's nice and loud. Finally, finally caught a decent one on top water. That was my goal today. And besides breaking my PB, which that may or may not happen, so we still got a little bit of time. But good news so far. 8.01 p.m. Hi, my name is Park, and I'm here in uh, where am I at? I'm in Mexico now. My camera guy catches bigger fish than me. He caught bigger fish than all of you guys today. He did. It's no joke. He threw it down. Well, as you can see, Parrick is back, and uh, he's, he, literally came, he literally came straight from the Amazon, and uh, he's here. We got Sam. You caught the biggest fish. Dude, I did. It was so sick. He caught a giant, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the end of the video here. Um, 
Winston didn't catch a whole lot of fish, but they're doing a whole sick series on their YouTube channel. I will link it down below. Go check out Favorite's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. They're going to have some dope stuff. It was Winston and I together, and he's going to rotate and fish with all these different dudes. It's going to be great. Uh, today was hopefully the worst day yet. And that sounds crazy because I caught six pounders, but I'm hoping I need to catch sevens or eights or nines or tens tomorrow. Definitely need to catch a bigger fish tomorrow. That is the goal. Also, if you want to come to a place like this, this exact place, I will link it down below as well. Peric's excited about this place, huh? You didn't, you didn't catch very many big fish, huh? No. You're just getting warmed up, though. You're ready. You're gonna crack like a like a 14, 15. I'm sad. You're just getting warmed up. I know. Sad day. So sad. But they can go on your YouTube channel, right? Check out the day where I, where I kicked your butt. But tomorrow might be different. You might, you might catch the world record tomorrow. So you gotta well, go to Favors channel. Listen. Check it out. Link down below. Sometimes you have a bad day. Not very often do I get my hind end kicked. By, the, by this dink master. By the one they call Flair. Yeah. I know, crazy. But it's okay. You know, if I was gonna choose to have somebody kick my butt, it'd be my wife <clears throat> but oh. she's not here so it's so you. it's me so yeah. I'm, I'm the closest thing to winston's wife so that's that's fantastic anyways i'm not gonna make this video any longer you guys can tune in to the next episode where i'm gonna break my pb i'm calling it right now it's gonna happen tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching in peace